Another thing that happens in the early 20th century, not necessarily related to the growth of tourism in the Branson area because of the, because of the book and because of the lake that was built there, is the early 20th century saw the creation of several resorts that were not spring water resorts in the Ozarks. These were more modern, or kind of modern 20th century style resorts. Uh, some of them tried to tap into the new automobile market, bringing in people now that, that cars were becoming more popular. And we'll just briefly mention three of them in the Ozarks. Uh, two of them in northwest Arkansas, Montanay and Bella Vista, and then one down in southwest Missouri, Rockaway Beach, uh, which was on uh, Lake Taney Como. Montanay was founded by the guy pictured there, uh, Coin Harvey was his nickname. And this was uh, founded right after the turn of the century near the town of Rogers, Arkansas, and a large resort. If you, when I get this up on, on Blackboard, this will take you to a, kind of a, an online museum exhibit based on the history of, of Montanay. It's pretty neat. Uh, to see. And uh, it boomed for a while before World War I. Uh, the people, the, the railroad would bring people close to the resort area to where the hotels were. And he actually had these uh, kind of Italian style, Venetian style gondolas built to row people across this body of water and, and take them to the, to the hotels. And there was Arkansas Row and Missouri Row and Oklahoma Row for you know, where people came from and, and all that stuff. Uh, but it eventually uh, went bust uh, after World War I. And today, what's left of Montanay is mostly under Beaver Lake, one of the many lakes that was built in the Ozarks in the, in the 20th century. But you can see a lot more of that here, a couple pictures of Montanay. You can see pretty fancy accommodations. That's, uh, you can see Oklahoma Row, and here's Missouri Row, uh, people out lounging around. Again, these were, these were wealthy people. Again, this is the early 1900s in an age when still your average Joe didn't vacation, didn't go on tourist trips. It was your upper crust and and your kind of upper middle class. Uh, Montanay especially catered to, the, uh, to new money people who were in the oil business. You had an explosion in the petroleum industry in the early 1900s after Spindle Top and all that kind of stuff. Oklahoma certainly had all kinds of oil money. Texas, South Arkansas, and they especially uh, advertised to these people and tried to get this oil money coming in. Here's the, uh, here's one of their boats. And you can see that's getting into the automobile age up there. That's a neat picture. I think it was last summer when the, the lakes got so low and it got so dry. Uh, yeah, the, there's, a, there's an amphitheater area there uh, and and I think more of it was visible than than usual and he also built uh, later sort of after the the resort was already declining uh, he had built some kind of uh, uh, kind of like a pyramid or uh, some sort of monument uh, and I think more of it was visible than usual last summer But the actual, the buildings and all that kind of stuff, those are all gone. And it had gone out of business years before the, the lake was built in the 1960s anyhow. Uh, Bella Vista is still there. It's called Bella Vista Village now, just south of the Missouri state line. And it was founded uh, around the time of World War I, again, as a resort community. And... Uh, it was founded by two brothers from Texas, and their goal, again, was kind of like building off the idea of Coin Harvey, trying to attract uh, upper middle class, 
wealthier people from the area uh, to come to this resort area in northwest Arkansas, and they, uh, they built a small town and had lots and kind of bungalows and cottages and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Bella Vista uh, was a resort community. Nowadays, it's a retirement community, and it, it, store, it started uh, making the transformation from resort to com community to retirement community after World War II, especially in the 1960s. And today, it's one of the biggest retirement communities in the country, I guess. Certainly, uh, it's, it's the biggest one that I know of in the Ozarks, uh, population-wise. Uh, but they had uh, one of their uh, chief attractions was this place they called Wonderland Cave, which was uh, literally a, a dance hall in a cave. It wasn't the only one of its kind of the Ozarks. There were several of these, but, uh, but that's, uh, that's actually the Arkansas State Legislature having a special kind of promotional meeting at, at this Wonderland Cave. I guess you can. I've never been to it. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I guess you can still go there. And then Rockaway Beach was built on Lake Taney Como just a few years after the lake was built. And Rockaway Beach advertised itself as the first family resort community west of the Mississippi. So, so that whole family idea in the Branson area has been around for a long time. Uh, and I don't know if it was or not, but pe you know, people advertise themselves however they want to, and no one necessarily calls them on it. There are questions to just how much of a family resort it was, because Rockaway Beach also claims to have been uh, the hangout of Al Capone. But Again, there are lots of places that claim to have been the hangout of Al Capone, and I don't know that he was there. He probably was. Gee, what better place to hide? Yeah. Uh, he, he did uh, spend time at Hot Springs, uh, but that was not a family resort town. Hot Springs was a, a rollicking, sort of wild uh, little Vegas uh, back in those days before there, there was much of a Vegas. And, and uh, but so he probably spent some time in, in Rockaway Beach on the way down to Hot Springs, you know, leaves his family in Rockaway and goes.